A few months ago, I made a video about Stephen Slate Drums 5, and since that time, they've updated and it's gotten even better. So in this video, we're gonna look at multi-channel routing as well as importing MIDI grooves. Let's start this off by right-clicking in this empty area of the track control panel and insert virtual instrument on new track. I'm gonna find SSD Sampler 5 by Stephen Slate with 48 outs and double click that. In this pop-up, we're gonna choose yes because we want new tracks to be added to the project. So the plugin loads and in the Reaper project, we've got um, a track for SSD sampler. This is where the MIDI goes. So you put your MIDI items on this and when you program it, sound comes out of the plugin and out onto these other tracks. And it's put in uh, 32 tracks of different audio outputs. The ones with C in the name are the mono outputs. So bring your attention to Stephen Slate Drums 5.5. Since the last video, they did update the appearance a little bit. Um, kind of the main new feature that they added was a couple other presets. For example, the Deluxe 2 Free Hugo. It also includes one extra classic series uh, snare drum. On the mixer page, you see a mixer and it's got panning, solo, mute, phaser, polarity, invert. And then at the very bottom, it says out one stereo. And here's where you choose which output this particular sound will come out of. I like to use all the mono outputs for the close mic drums and then the stereo outputs for things like the overheads and the room mics. So if I was to set this up manually, I would do output 17 for the kick in, output 18 for the kick out. 19 for snare, uh, snare DIR. The snare sample going down to the end of the list, got overheads and I would probably keep that on output one, go to the rooms and set that out to output two. And so just as an example of this, if we take the kick drum, we can see that on 17 and 18, if we solo this, that's just the close mic on the kick. And then 18 is the more distant mic on the kick. There are also routing presets here. So we've got everything on one stereo, mono to mono, stereo to stereo, which is a great starting point, I think. Now this one does put the kick in and kick out on the same outputs. It works, but you, you do need to manually control the blends by using the faders in here. I set up a, my own preset here, which is very similar. It's kind of, kind of what I was going through with you guys earlier. And it's just putting each of the close mics on its own separate output. So you can use these routing presets within the SSD plugin. Or what I like to do is set up a track template for Reaper, which has all this stuff already done, plus track names and everything. So I'm going to uh, select all these tracks and delete them and then import my track template, which you can find in the video description. If you want to download this yourself, save a lot of time. So I've already labeled and deleted any unused tracks here. So I've got a folder called Drums. This is your master mute or uh, solo. It's a place you can put bus compression, things like that on it. Um, you can also collapse all the tracks and make them uh, nice and small, more manageable. The SSD Sampler 5 track is where you would put your MIDI. And uh, I've got a MIDI note map on here already. And I've got my, um, my drum view kind of already set up here. Let's bring in one of the grooves that comes with Stephen Slate Drums 5. So I did actually do a little bit of volume adjustments in here, but I don't like a lot of snare ring, for example. So I have that turned way down. And I have the room mics turned down because you, you don't normally have those as loud as the close mics. Mm -hmm. 
it can sound too trashy. And if we look in the plugin at the mixer, everything is centered and flat and each track goes to its separate output. That's how I like to set it up and it lets me get straight to work. Now let's look at MIDI grooves and I actually have some of these imported already. These MIDI groove packs I got from Steven Slate years ago. I'm not sure exactly when I got them. 2009 they were they were made. So uh, must have been like Steven Slate Drums 3. And if you were to just copy these to the SSD library files, uh, it wouldn't find them or it wouldn't be able to use them correctly. So there is a little bit of a trick to getting this to look right. So I'm going to open up a new tab here, go to the sample library, and find the SSD library. I took a look at the folder structure. I noticed that SSD5 core RMB has a .lib extension on it. So that tells me that that's going to be the library column for that. If I open up that more, I've got .sng. And so that's going to be category, or I guess they used to call it song, intro.prt. Let's actually look up that. So we've got category and then 01 intro prt. So here, that's going to be the groove or the part. And then inside is the original MIDI files. To do the same thing for a groove library from somewhere else that's not uh, included with SSD5, you would do the same thing. You add .lib to uh, the top level of the folder, so it goes into the library column. You add .sng for the category, and then .prt for the different types of grooves. So I've got chorus, fills, and verses in the Glenn Sobel MIDI grooves. And if we look here, I've got all the different songs or, or styles here. And then in each one, I've got the MIDI items in different categories based on the type of part they are. So if you have a library of MIDI grooves and you want to use them with SSD5, it takes only a few seconds to set up to add that, the .lib, the .sng, the .prt uh, extensions to, these, um, to the folder structure. So one last thing I want to show you in SSD5 is um, an idea for setting up your own presets. So I'm going to load this extra tight kit that I made earlier. And the main thing that's different about this preset is that for each of the drums, I've used the ADSR section to really tighten up the sound of the drums. So let's go back to the grooves and play this and on repeat. Take off the ADSR. And I think that's a really cool way of changing up the drum sound, uh, getting more, uh, more use out of a kind of a small library that's provided here. So they have an example of that in the, um, the dry and tight kit or preset is what kind of got me to that sort of sound. Here's their example. So they didn't go as far uh, tightening it up. If you're not using the ADSR and you're programming really fast drum beats, you can, it can sound pretty uh, muddy and indistinct or cluttered up sounding. So uh, hopefully that's a good tip for you. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There will be a download link for the track template and MIDI note map file that you can add to your Reaper and, uh, and save a lot of time with setting this stuff up. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.